stay away. This is my public service announcement for 2023. It's very frustrating as someone who wants to make rowing as accessible as possible for as many people as possible to not have a good budget-friendly rower that I can recommend. In this video, I just wanna talk about the two things that make me can't recommend you get a budget rower. There are two deal breakers on these budget rowers that make them unrecommendable. And the first deal breaker is rotating foot plates. I've just, I've scanned the internet, dozens upon dozens of budget-friendly rowers. They all have this stupid, gimmicky, rotating foot plate feature. You can't even call it a feature because it takes away from actually using the muscles you would want to use when you're rowing. You do not want rotating foot plates when you row. You want foot plates that are set in place to give you a platform to use your legs and to train your legs off of. With the pivoting, rotating foot plate, it essentially puts your feet in a horizontal position, which essentially puts your feet in the same line of the force that you're trying to create. You want your foot plates to be perpendicular to the force that you're gonna generate so you can actually push through your feet to use your legs. There's no reason for these foot plates to rotate and I do not know why they put them in. So unless you're gonna stick a brick behind it or super gorilla glue those foot plates so they can't move, the rotating foot plates, it's, it's a freaking deal breaker. Sorry I'm so frustrated, it's just, it doesn't make sense. The second deal breaker feature which is arguably much harder to fix are the monitors that track your metrics. On these cheap rowers, I'm sorry, they just suck. They don't track anything accurately at all. If you're lucky, it might even have a metric for watts or power or pace per 500, but the reliability and the consistency of that feature is non-existent. I'm not involved in manufacturing enough to know why this is, but it seems like every cheap rower has the exact same rowing monitor that doesn't track your metrics of watts, force, power, distance, in any sort of way that scales based off of how much effort you're actually putting into your stroke. And being able to consistently understand your power output, your pace per 500, your strokes per minute, time, distance, you need all of those metrics and you need them reliably to make any sort of plan program to set you up for success long term. If you're looking to do anything more than just bounce around on the rower. It's like being stuck with only a pair of five pound dumbbells to do weight training with. Yeah, you can do something, kinda, but there's no progression. There's no way to really track yourself and progress yourself accurately. Now, all of these rowers that I'm talking about, they're all in the sub $500 range. Once you start getting into the water rower designs, which are usually around five to $600, minimum, at least they have steady, solid foot plates, but they still lack in the good monitor tracking department. And in reality, the best budget deal rower that you're gonna get is the Concept2 for $900. Luckily, that machine will last you forever. It, it has a monitor that is essentially the gold standard of the rowing world. But I'm just here to say, if you cannot afford a Concept2 and you wanna row, Save up, save up and get a Concept2 because right now there isn't something that exists that's cheaper than a Concept2 that I could possibly recommend if you're trying to use rowing as part of your fitness routine long term. Again, if you're looking to just hop on a rower and kind of bounce around with it and don't really have any sort of structure with it, willy nilly just throwing it in with everything else you're doing, then sure, maybe you can get away with some of these budget options. But anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and rant about that. I would love for you to share your thoughts and please your experiences. If you've had the experience of buying a budget rower at the start, being disappointed and then realizing, oh, I should have upgraded and maybe you did upgrade or maybe you gave up, please share your stories down below so that way more can see it and more can learn to understand that when it comes to rowing, it is an investment, but it's worth the investment long-term. 
but ones you can at least afford a concept to, if not something more than that. All those options are so much more worth it because these machines are gonna last you years upon years and offer features and functions that are gonna allow you to set programs and get yourself on a path for success with rowing. But whether you're stuck with a budget rower right now or you have a decent rower that you like to use, I offer a lot of rowing resources on my website, trainingtall.net, personal form reviews, and my follow along workout app, the most affordable rowing training that's out there, my app, Just Row. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching the video. That's all I have to say about budget rowers for today. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.